Hey everyone, this is Mr. A, and today I want to talk with you about solving multiple angle trig equations. So these are like your regular trig equations, except that inside of the argument, the sine or the cosine or the tangent, you'll have a multiple of theta, or x. So what am I talking about? Let's take a look at this first one here. We've got cosecant of 2 theta equals the square root of 2. Now notice that we're solving for the domain theta between 0 and 2 pi. That's going to become really important in this question. It's always important, but it's going to be particularly important for these here where we've got a multiple of theta inside the argument. So we're going to start by rearranging this to figure out what reference angle we're going to be working with, cosecant of 2 theta equals square root of 2. And what I'm going to do is use an old trick in mathematics. So if I'm not sure how to solve this, I'm going to turn it into something I know how to solve. Let's say I create a variable, a, and I let a equal 2 theta. Right? Well, then I can rewrite this as the cosecant of a, equals the square root of 2. Now that's an equation that at this point you should know how to solve. Cosecant of a is the square root of 2. That means that the sine of a is 1 over the square root of 2. And if you're not familiar with it in that form, just rationalize it and you should recognize good old square root 2 over 2, which means we're talking about a reference angle of pi over 4. All right. Now, here's where we have to be a little bit careful. So we're looking for solutions of sine of a equals rad 2 over 2. That's going to be a reference angle of pi over 4. So I'm going to go to my unit circle, and I've got one ready to go right here. So let me just pull it up. Oops, I missed. There's my unit circle. Love the unit circle. It's all about the unit circle. And what we're going to do is think about solutions here. But since a is 2 theta, we're going to have to modify our domain. right? So if theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, then what does 2 theta go to? Well, that means that a is going to be somewhere on the interval 0 to 2 theta. If theta is 2 pi, then 2 theta is 4 pi. Right? So this variable a that I created, sorry, I make that non-inclusive there. The variable a that I created, this variable has a different domain than theta. If theta runs from 0 to 2 pi, then a can run from 0 to 4 pi, which means I'm going to go around this circle not once, but twice, right? I get two trips around the unit circle. So now that I've got my two trips set up, I'm going to think about where my reference angle is going to land me. For the sine to be positive, I know I have to be either in quadrants 1 or 2. And I got a reference angle of pi over 4, so that'll give me a solution right here at pi over 4. I have another solution in quadrant 2 at 3 pi over 4. And if I only had one trip around the unit circle, I'd be done. Now, theta can only go once around, but I'm working in terms of a right here. a gets to go twice around. So on the first trip, I hit pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. And then on the second trip around, I'm going to pick up another, let's see, this would be 9 pi over 4, right? That's because I'm adding the 2 pi. 2 pi is uh, 8 pi over 4. So 8 pi over 4 is plus that pi over 4 gets me 9 pi over 4. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to add 8 pi to that, getting me 11 pi over 4. So now I've got four solutions, right? What do I have? I have that A can either be pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 11 pi over 4, or 9 pi over 4. I should write those in the other order, I guess. Sorry. Right? 9 pi over 4 or 11 pi over 4. But that wasn't the angle they were asking me about, right? A, I invented. There was no A when this problem started. I want to figure out what theta is. Well, I know that A equals 2 theta. So if we just remember that, it's 2 thetas for every A. To get theta, all I need to do is divide everything by 2, right? Theta is equal to A over 2. So I can get my final solutions for theta by just taking each one of these and cutting it in half. So pi over 4 becomes pi over 8. 3 pi over 4 becomes 3 pi over 8. 9 pi over 4 becomes 9 pi over 8. And 11 pi over 4 becomes 11 pi over 8. And there are my four solutions. Notice that all of these values, right, the biggest value is 11 pi over 8. That's within my domain of 0 to 2 pi. But when you double them, Right? This is going to be way outside the domain of 0 to 2 pi, but that's okay, because when I double it, I go to 4 pi, and that's where I'm picking up all these four solutions. Right. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's take a look at another one. So here I've got cosine of 3 theta equal to 1. All right, so cosine 3 theta equals 1. Right off the bat, I'm going to do the same substitution. I'm going to let a be 3 theta. And if a is 3 theta, if theta runs from 0 to 2 pi, that means that a is going to be allowed to run from 0 up to 3 times 2 pi, or 6 pi. That means I'm going to get 3 trips around the unit circle this time. So we're going to do a substitution here. Cos 3 theta equals 1, I'm not sure what to do with. 
but cos of a equals 1. I know exactly what to do with that. What are the reference angles? Well, actually, this is a quadrantile, isn't it? This is a special angle. So when is the cosine 1? Right, this is quadrantile. So when is cosine 1? All right, well, this is one of our quadrantile angles. The cosine is the horizontal component, so it's 1 right over here at 0. Then as I work my way around the circle, cosine is 0 here. Over here, cosine is negative 1, so I still don't have another solution, right? i got to go all the way back around. Cosine here is 0. And finally, cosine is 1 again. So 0, I get another solution at pi, 2 pi. Whoops. 2 pi. And I'm allowed three trips around in the circle. So I can go all the way back around again up to 4 pi. Right? So I got my first trip. I pick up the 0. I go around. I get 2 pi. That's one trip. I go around a second trip. Now I got 4 pi. Now I get a whole third trip around the unit circle. But when I land here the last time, I'm going to be at 6 pi. And even though 6 pi does make cosine 0, it's right at the edge of my domain. And we are not including that last figure. So 6 pi is not going to be a solution. So what do I get here? I get a equal to 0, 2 pi, 4 pi. But again, a is not what I'm looking for. I want theta. Remember that theta relates to a like this. 3 thetas is equal to 1a. So to get my final solution, I'm going to solve for theta. And theta is just a over 3, which means theta is 0 over 3, theta is 2 pi over 3, and theta is 4 pi over 3. And there we go for that one, right? So I got three solutions on this one. We've got one more queued up for you here. So we've got 6 equals 3 secant theta over 2. All right, so we got to do a little bit of rearranging. We're going to divide by 3 on both sides, and we'll get secant of theta over 2 equals 6 over 3, so that's 2. All right, so let's stop here for a moment. I'm going to do an assignment of variables. I'm going to let a be, this time, theta over 2. Now, if a is theta over 2, what is the domain going to be for that variable? Well, if theta can go from 0 to 2 pi, a can go from 0 to, what's 2 pi divided by 2? Might just be pi, right? So a is only allowed to run from 0 up to pi this time. I get less options for a. Let me grab my unit circle again, bring that over here. Sure wish I could get it, make it to appear on the right-hand side. So I'm only going to get not even a trip around the unit circle, right? I get half a trip around the unit circle. I don't even make it around once. I'm only going to be allowed to go from 0 up to pi. So let's see how that pans out. Back over to the equation here, I've got uh, secant theta over 2 equals 2. I'll change that now to secant of a equals 2. Since you know that secant is 1 over cosine, if the secant is 2, that means that the cosine of a has to be 1 half. And that's one of the angles that you should certainly know, right? What's the reference angle for a cosine of a half? Well, that would be pi over 3. So where is cosine positive? Well, I'm going to have a solution in the first quadrant, right? So there's pi over 3. Cosine is also positive in the fourth quadrant. That would be at uh, 5 pi over 3. So, two solutions, right? Ah, hopefully you caught me there. This solution is not in our domain, right? Because where am I allowed to go? Only one half of a trip around the unit circle. A has to live between 0 and pi. Because remember, A is theta divided by 2, which if you rearrange that, right, theta is equal to 2A. So, if theta can't get bigger than 2 pi, A can't get bigger than pi. So as I go around the circle, I hit the solution at pi over 3, but I stop here, and I'm never going to make it to 5 pi over 3. So we have only one solution this time. A is pi over 3. But like we said, theta is 2a. So if a is pi over 3, then theta is going to be 2. Oh, that was a really terrible theta. Let me see if I can do better than that. Theta is going to be 2 pi over 3. Right? That is the angle. That if I divide it by 2, then I'll have 2 pi over 6, which is 1 pi over 3. And that we know is a solution there, right? The secant of that, or the cosine of that is a half, so the secant is uh, 2. All right, let's see if we can run through one more of these in this video. So I've got 1 plus sine 4 theta equals 1. I'm going to start by doing a little bit of algebra and rearrange things. I'll get this to be 3 sine 4 theta equals 0, right, by subtracting 1 from both sides. 0 divided by 3 is still 0, so I have sine of 4 theta equals 0. So it's time to do an assignment of my variable here. I'm going to let a be 4 theta this time, which means a is going to live somewhere on the interval 0 up to 4 theta. 
they can go to 2 pi, so this can go to 8 pi. All right, non-inclusive again there. Okay, so there I've got my unit circle, and let's talk about when the sine is going to be zero. So at zero, in fact, the sine is zero, right? The sine is the vertical component. There is no vertical component here on the circle. So my sine starts off at zero, climbs up to one, then is back at zero again at pi. Then it goes to negative one, back to zero again at two pi. Back to one, back to zero at three pi. And by the way, how many trips around the unit circle do I get this time? If I can go up to eight pi, that's four trips, right? Four trips all around the unit circle. So let's see, I've got one, two trips in here so far. So hopefully you can see the next ones are going to be over here, four pi and six pi. Over here, I'm going to be pi, three pi, five pi, and seven pi. And by the way, if I go all the way back around, I will get another solution at eight pi, right? But eight pi is out of my domain. We are not including that endpoint, so we're not going to keep eight pi. So what have we got over here? We know that we're going to have a solution anytime a is zero pi, two pi, three pi, four pi, five pi, six pi, I'm getting tired of writing pi, seven pi, or eight pi. Wait, I got ahead of myself, not eight pi, right? That one's out of my domain. So I'm only going to take those first uh, eight, but I want theta. And remember, theta is um, four theta is equal to a, which means theta is a over four. So to solve for theta, we can just divide each one of those by four. So I can write theta is, and I'll do this one more time, zero over four is zero. Then we got pi over four. We've got two pi over four. You can simplify these if you want, but I wouldn't bother three pi over four. Four pi over four, maybe that one I should have simplified. Five pi over four, six pi over four, almost there. And finally, seven pi over four. And if you do things like this enough, you'll start to notice that it can get very repetitious. And so you might want to take advantage of some notation. How could we say this a little more efficiently? Well, look at these solutions here. We've got 0, pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? We're just going up by pi over 4. So what if I said theta was k pi over 4, right? So just some number k times pi over 4. And what do I have to do? So we have that k is an integer on the interval from 0 up to 7 inclusive. And that is a much more compact way to say every one of those solutions that I gave up there, right? 0, pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please like it and comment, subscribe, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me or leave a comment below. Have a great day.